Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, starting the final case of the Ace Attorney Trilogy. Case 3-5, Bridge to the Turnabout. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous cases in this game, especially cases 1 and 4, you're going to want to see them again. Um, so, I'll just, hang on, I'll just check which ones they are so that I can recommend which videos to go to. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I was planning, I planned ahead, but I didn't think to actually open the page that had the numbers on it. That was a bit silly of me. Um... Ice Attorney Trilogy, there it is. Okay, so episode 62 and episode 50 are the ones you're going to want to look at if you want to check those cases again. Uh, they're both, you know, more than one episode long, but that's where the cases start, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let's begin the final case of the Ace Attorney Trilogy. <laughs> Shichi Si Chito, the treasured Turain village heirloom whose name means Seven Branched Sword. It is said that this sacred sword represents life itself. Though the branches may appear to be infinite, the choice is limitless. Like our destinies, the sword comes to but one end, one merciless point. And when the silver cord, the fragile thread that binds us to this world, is severed? The illusion is revealed, and the implacability of fate is finally laid bare. February 6th, 9.48am, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Hey Nick! Yeah? What is it? You know how I've got spiritual powers, unlike you? Um, sure. You are a spirit medium, after all. But just like you, if I don't keep my powers sharp, they get dull, right? Um, I guess so, yeah. Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up. Pearls? So... That's why we need to go on a special spiritual hotspot tour, Mr. Nick. Huh? I'm lost. What's this magazine you're shoving in my face? It's the New Year's issue of Occult Winter Spiritual Location Special. Oh, Pulse looks so happy. Maximize your spirit powers with just one night of intensive training. Oh, it sounds too good to be true. I'll say. It sounds more like a scam to me. It's a spirit retreat called Hazakura Temple. It's way up in the mountains, and I bet it's nice and cold. Just perfect for training. Now I definitely don't want to go. You know, I think I've heard of this temple before. It's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard for even real spirit mediums like us to make reservations up there. Reservations? For a temple? Are you serious? Don't worry, I've already made special reservations just for us. Yeah. And I signed up for the special cause. That's nice, and the timing couldn't be better. Since we don't have any, any, look, since we don't have a case right now anyway. Alrighty then, it's settled. Well, come on, don't just stand there. Start packing your stuff. Yes, Mr. Nick, you better start packing your stuff. Huh? M me? Why do I have to go? Well, we have to be accompanied by someone over 20 years old. Hey, I don't have anything to do with spirit power. The only thing I can channel is a TV. So, um, is there a heated pool at this Hazakura temple? No, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall! Sorry, but I think I'll pass. I hate cold places. What? No way! How can you be so selfish? 
Come on, Mr. Nick. Look at this place. Doesn't it look beautiful? Nope, not going. I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. What the? Oh, what is it, Mr. Nick? Let me see that magazine. <gasps> this nun. Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? This girl. It, it's... My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I just want to say, it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? You disgust me. But it can't be. She was found guilty and should still be in prison. Mr. Nick? I'll go. Huh? Hazakura Temple. I said I'll go. Yay! Isn't that great, Pearly? Yes! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nick. You'd do anything for Mystic Maya, right? Even walk over burning coals, right? Oh, Colt. New Year's issue received from Pearls. Dahlia Hawthorne. I knew there was no way she could possibly be at that temple. But I just had to... I just had to BC for myself. Typo. Who this nun really was. February 7th, 3.24pm. Hazakura Temple, Main Gate. Brr, it, it, it's so c c cold here, Nick. Maybe you should put on something warmer for a change. Uh, well, it's supposed to be c c cold. It's t t training. Uh, achoo! Her teeth are chattering so loudly, it's all I can do to make out what she's saying. Wow, Mystic Maya, so this is the famous Hazakura Temple. P -p -p Pearly? Uh, uh, I. Uh, achoo! Well, well, well. How nice to see you here. Welcome to our temple. Oh, th th thank you. Achoo! Oh my, my, my. Thank you for coming all this way. Come now, come now. You must have been cold. What's with the past tense? We're freezing into human popsicles as we speak. Ho <laughs> ho Well, we are high up in the mountains after all. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Please follow me inside. Th thank you. I was trying to think I would pass. Oh, yes, yes. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm the head nun here at the temple. My name is Bikini. B -b -b Bikini? That's right. Actually, that's my temple name. What do you think? It's a tradition to have one, and I wanted something that has a nice image to it. So I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. I mean, you're in a freezing mountain, like I don't think a bikini's got the best image to it somewhere that cold, but you know, go off. Wow! <laughs> like that'd just be freezing. It certainly does. Oh, I sign up for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Quite brave of you, considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those you channel. Whoa! Reckless? Wahaha? Maybe you should take it easy tonight, Mystic Maya. We can come back another day. But you went through all that trouble to get reservations for me. Yes, 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 that's right. You've come all this way, so please enjoy yourselves. There's still time before supper, so why don't you have a look around? There's a snowmobile. Oh look, it's one of those snow motorcycle things. Most people call that a snowmobile, you know? Snow motorcycle things, snow blumeal, same thing. Hmm, too bad we didn't invite Desiree. I bet she could race like the wind on this snowmobile. Or maybe she'd give me ri give me ride on this blow snowmobile. Give me a ride? Oh, I told you, it's Snowmobile. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so what's a channeling dojo anyway? Oh my my my, you don't even know that? Forgive him, sister, for he knows not what he is saying. Well, 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 just call me Bikini and forget that sister part. A channeling dojo is basically a spiritual power training ground. 
We have special holy items prepared here to help people boost their spiritual power. H holy items? If you train an entire evening surrounded by these items, uh, it's quite mysterious. The spiritual power of these items seems to envelop you. <laughs> wow, she must have just gotten off the trolley from the land of make-believe. Um, Phoenix? Chill. Like... Like, your, your best friend is here and she is literally a spirit medium and you know this fact and she have seen her use her powers. Uh, it's clearly real. Uh, um, so what exactly is the special course? You must be incredibly devoted to be interested in that at such a young age. It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant a spell through 30,000 times, all while being showered in freezing cold spirit water. Huh? It's February now, right? You have to be careful this time of the year. If you don't watch it, you'll catch pneumonia or maybe even die of hypothermia. So be careful, you hear? Wahaha! Ha ha ho ha! How am I supposed to be careful? Oh no, I know I shouldn't have signed Mystic Meyer up for this. Um, sister, about this picture. Well, well, look at that. I must say, I look rather divine here, don't you think? Oh, um, yeah, unforgettable in every way. You mean it? Oh, I knew it. Whoa! -ho 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 -ho. The makeup was pretty tough, but Iris helped me out. Iris? The cute little girl in the photo. She looks just like me, doesn't she? We're just a small temple here, so she and I run the entire place. Really? That kind of sounds like fun. Sorry to cut in, but this Iris. Where is she right now? Oh, just listen to you. You haven't come all the way up here just to find a girlfriend, have you? Uh... Glare. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what I had in mind at all. Anyway, Iris is in the inner temple preparing for this evening. Inner temple? Yes, yes, that's right. Iris will be back this evening. Why don't you go have a look at the main hall for now? Waha, waha, ha, ha, ha. So she's in the inner temple, huh? Can we go to the inner temple? Yeah, I think we can. February 7th, Suspension Bridge. Wow, look at this broken down old bridge, Nick. Y yeah, and look at that big canyon below us. Hey, there's a river down there. It looks like it's flowing real fast. What's wrong, Nick? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm just not very good with heights. Oh. Hey, I've got it! Maybe you should face your fear and try hurling yourself off the edge! You know, one, two, three, jump! It might be just what you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, death is a real good way to overcome phobias, alright. Anyway, it sure looks like a rickety bridge. Can't argue there. That's probably why it's called Dusty Bridge. Read it again, Maya. It says Dusky Bridge. Well, it's practically the same thing. You may remember the name Dusky Bridge from somewhere else. Same bridge. Uh, we're not allowed to cross it yet. Let's head into the main hall. February 7th, Hazakura Temple, main hall. The, the, the main hall, I think it's even c c colder in here. Achoo! Ah, uh, Mr. Nick, do you smell that? It smells like meat and gravy. Yeah, you're right. This is pot roast for tonight. Yum. It's kind of weird that Maya just stops being cold all of a sudden. Weird. I thought they would serve something a little more, well, traditional. What are you talking about, Nick? You think monks and nuns just sit around eating rice gruel all the time? Mystic Maya is right. Oh, I hope there's mashed potatoes too. I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> What a cute little acolyte. Greetings to all of you. Oh, um, hello. Wow, this lady makes Maya look like a 6 out of, 6.8 out of 10 on the weirdness scale. Phoenix, you really need to stop thinking things like this, it's very rude. <laughs> Your outfit, did you come here for the special course too? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Actually, I'm... Ah! You're... You're... You're Mrs. Elise Dunim! Yes, that's right. You know of me? M my name... M my name is Paul Fay! 
I I'm your biggest fan. Who is she, Nick? Hmm. I see it now. It's very. A fortune teller? I I've got all your books, Miss Don't Miss Stonium. <laughs> what a sweet thing to say. And please, call me Elise. Um, books? Mr. Nick, don't you know anything? Don't you even know who this is? Well, um... An author, maybe? Yes, and an illustrator. Of picture books. Picture books, huh? Oh, now I get it. She's pretty adorable. Um, I'm sorry I didn't know who you are. I didn't get a lot of chances to really enjoy picture books. It's alright, I take no offence to that. My books are nothing but simple stories for children. And really beautiful pictures too, Ms. Elise. Your books always make me feel as if my heart has been purified. <laughs> Makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. Hey, sorry for that brief interruption. I am back now. I do have to admit, she certainly seems like a kind, sensitive lady. Miss Elise won an award last year for her book, The Magic Bottle. Yes, a friend of mine secretly submitted a story I had written to a publisher. They liked it so much they asked it was alright to make it into a book. Wow, this has been a really great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book too. If I do, you can secretly send it to a publisher for me, Nick. Recently, I've accepted a sort of apprentice, you might say. An apprentice? He calls himself Larice. Larice Junim. I believe he's off doing some landscape sketches now. On Larice's behalf as well, I'd like to thank you for your support. Of course, Ms. Elise, anything for you. <laughs> Um, why did you come to Hazakura Temple, Ms. Elise? Are you here to do some spiritual training? <laughs> no, that's not it. I'm actually here to gather materials for a new book I'm working on. Wow, I, I can't wait to read it. Carl's is completely taken with her. I wanted to do a book with a more Japanese feel to it this time. Okay, clearly the entire game is set in Japan, so... What did that say in the original script? So, is that why you're dressed like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their minds. I don't want to disappoint them. What can I say? She's really a sweet lady. Wow, Ms. Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun. Yes, the good people here are kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing training clothes underneath my robe as well. I want a staff like that. You like the crystal sphere? It's a real amethyst, you know. Maybe we'll find one like that up here on this mountain. Good luck, Nick. I know you'll find me one. Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to go help with the dinner preparations. Wow, you mean you're cooking dinner tonight? That's right. Would you like to help too, Pearl? Yes, yes, I want to help with whatever I can. Pearl looks like she just won the lottery. Oh, I'll help too then. No, it's fine. Please don't worry about it. Feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Huh? But... Oh, yes. Please take this. I think it will be of help to you. It's a map of the area. But we wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? We'll notice this map looks extremely familiar. The Inner Temple. There it is, on the other side of the bridge. Well, if you insist, I guess we'll take this chance to go check out the other temple. How's the Cure Temple map added to the court record? Okay, I'll see you two later then. Remember, you're not allowed to fight. Come on, Nick. Let's go. At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. Okay, um, so yeah, we do have to go to the inner temple, so we shall. February 7th, How's the Cure Temple, main gate. Huh? Where did Sister Bikini go? I guess she went to the inner temple to go help that other nun out. Oh, right. I think her name is Iris? Y yeah, that was it. 
I want to find out who Iris really is, but I'm scared of what I'll find. We're allowed to cross the bridge now, so we shall. February 7th, Inner Temple Gate. Whoa! That bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake! And at least half of the wood on that rickety bridge was rotting, I bet. Not to mention the last part only had like one board left on it. What's wrong with you? Your face is all green. C can you not pick on me for a second? I'm still trying to get over the shock that we made it safely across that death trap. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit surprised too. Yikes, that temple is in bad shape. Looks like it collapsed at any time. I guess people don't use it too often. Is this really where you're going to train tonight? That has to be it. It's kind of creepy around here, like a ghost might jump out at you or something. A spirit medium afraid of ghosts? Isn't it ironic, don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day. Like a free ride when you've already paid. <laughs> In a temple. Training hall. Man, look at this place. Just a tiny freezing cold room. So this is where you'll be both supposed to be training, huh? Huh? Well, what do you mean? Both? I'm the only one. Really? But I thought... Polly's just a little kid. She couldn't handle this kind of intense training. So says the girl who I can barely hear over her teeth chattering. Anyway, the real training room must be behind that door over there. Hmm. Yep, definitely getting the feeling it's back there. Even I can sense that there's something supernatural about the cavern behind that door. Um... Excuse me, but who are you? Ah... You're... Hi there! We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. Is something wrong? Uh, uh, no, it, it's nothing. I wonder why she spaced out like that. Don't you, Nick? Uh, d did you say something, M Maya? Not you too, Nick. I, m my name is Iris. I'm one of the nuns here at this temple. I'm Maya Faye. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Oh, uh, please excuse me. I have some, um, chores to attend to. She sure is beautiful. And a bit spacey, I guess. I guess she's just not used to talking with urban sophisticates like us. Nick? That girl. It can't be, but... Hanging scroll. Doesn't look that. Ah! Ah! What is it? Why did you scream like that? The, this scroll. It. It's my mother. What? It's Misty Fay, the master of the Curane School of Channeling. Uh, are you sure? Yes. That crest at the top of the scroll. That's the special mark of the master of our tradition. So that's what the mark means. What is it? N nothing. It's just that I last saw her over 15 years ago. If it wasn't for that crest, I wouldn't have even known it was her. My own mother. And I can't even recognize her face. Maya. Hanging scroll out to the court record. Yeah, that's gonna be important. February 7th, Dusky Bridge. Oh, we managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling alright? Hey, what's wrong with you? Ever since we met Sister Iris at the training hall, you've been really quiet. Huh? Oh, um, sorry. Hey, you. Wait up. You think he's yelling at us? 
He must be. There's no one else around. Would you mind moving? You're standing right in my way. Ah! Hey, I know you. You're... Whoa, sorry, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Louise Junim. Liar, you're Larry. Your clothes may change, but you're still the butts. <sighs> Let him change his name if he wants. Come on, Phoenix. Shut up. I'm... I'm... Louise! I'm right just here to do a sketch of Dusky Bridge. So, it really is our Larry. Not that I get why he's training to be someone else. Let him be someone else. So what are you doing with the last name Dunim? Well, I... I just... I wanted to start over again with a clean slate. A clean slate? You remember, don't you? Last time? The Mask de Masque case. After that, I started to realise I don't, didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. And that's when I came across it. The Book of Destiny. The Book of Destiny? Do you mean... The Magic Bottle by Ms. Elise Dunim. It's so beautiful. So moving. So... so gentle. My heart felt cleansed. I, I was saved. Maybe I should buy a copy of the Magic Bottle. Wow, Larry would make a great book salesman. I really want to get that book now, too. She's the most wonderful person I've ever met. I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. You see? You see? Here's a photo I took of her in secret. Wow, that's a beautiful photo that you took of her in secret without her permission. You want a copy, don't you? It's okay. I just happen to have made extra prints. Photo of Elise out of the court record. I, I really hope you got her consent to take this picture. I mean, she's looking at the camera, so presumably she knew there was a camera, but... I mean, he did say it was in secret, so... Who even knows? Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So tell the truth, you must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? What are you talking about? I don't... I don't trust anyone anymore, especially not women. Talk about a bad case of denial. Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't only about technical skill, you know. It's also about having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking, can you draw well enough to make a whole book? Hmm... Now that you mention it, I wonder. It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. It's true, I do. When I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended, and something else began. Oh, Larry, it sounds like you've fallen in love with Miss Elise Dunim. No, you're wrong. It's not her. It's the other girl. Other girl? Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. By other girl, do you mean... Iris? Oh yeah, her. My little Iris. She's really pretty. This girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. I wonder if she would model for me. I want to draw a portrait of her. Yeah, you always liked those model types, didn't you, Larry? Hey, wait a sec. Didn't you say you were swearing off women? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Of course I have. I have, basically. But... 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 Iris is different. I feel like... I feel like I still have one chance left at the dream. This guy will never change. Everyone! Oh, sorry. Everyone! Hey, Pearly! Dinner preparations are complete! Please come quickly to the main hall! Alright. I can't wait to dig in, Pearly. I'm gonna go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris. I also want to have a look at where Mystic Myra is gonna be training. February 7th, 7.46 p.m. Harzakura Temple, Main Hall. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you sure it's alright to eat that much before your training? 
Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. <laughs> no pain, no gain, I guess. Mm, I'm still worried about you. Well, well, well. Let's not dilly dally shilly shally. You must get ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. Alright, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. Iris, please ring the bell at 10. The light's out, alright? Yes, Sister Bikini. And then, after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us at the training hall. I understand, Sister Bikini. Maya and Bikini really seem excited about this training thing tonight. Well, pal, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um... If you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps we can read some books together. R really? I'd love to. I, um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Ah, I'd love to. Pulse is absolutely smitten with Miss Junim. So, Larry, what are you gonna do? Huh? Me? Um, well, I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I can't stand the cold at all. I totally hear you there. Um, Miss Elise, so for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. Oh, okay, and what about this word? That's another tough one. It says, roast. What kind of a book is she reading anyway? Well, I'm gonna go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll go visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. February 7th, 9.12pm, Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. Ugh, it's a whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. Ugh, why couldn't the nearest bathroom be just a little closer to my room? Mr. Wright? Oh, I think this is Iris, sorry. Mr. Wright? Yeah! Oh no, it's not Iris, it's Mr. Nim. Oh, uh, Mr. Nim, are you gonna use the bathroom too? Um, no, but have you seen Pearl? No, not since after dinner. I thought she said she was gonna go to your room. I know, but she never showed up. I I'm gonna go look for her. Excuse me. Miss Elise Junim, a woman as mysterious in origin as her last name. But, the really mysterious one is... Oh! Ah, Sister Iris! G g good evening! The really mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? I can't let this chance pass me by. I should try to talk with her, and maybe get some answers. Um, your sister Iris, right? Yes. So, um, when did you come to Hazakura Temple? I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home. So you've never left? Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. Sister Bikini, I've come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. Ah, I see. But you... didn't you go to college? And maybe enroll in the Ivy University Literature Department? No, I never had an interest in going to a big university like that. My training is all the education I need. I... I see. But, once in a while, when I get the chance, I make a trip to the nearby town. I can use a computer and a cell phone, too. That's not exactly something worth bragging about. But I don't see any psyche locks. So, I guess that means she's not lying. But please don't stare at me like that. What kind of a place is this, anyway? I heard it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. Well, I have to admit it is a whole different world up here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Huh? Talking with dead people? Who does it help anyway? I hate it. R really? 
So then, why stay in a place like this? Ah, is something wrong? I, I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. I guess it's almost 10 now, huh? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? If it's all right with you, I would like you to have this. But this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Come to think of it, this bikini was wearing one of these too. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. Iris's hood received from Iris. I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Wait a minute, Sister Iris. Y yes Just now, you called me by my name. You said Mr. Wright. How did you know my name? I never introduced myself to you. Th that's... Sister Iris, please, tell me the truth. You and I... Have we ever met before? Oh my goodness. Iris. Uh, oh, it's almost ten. Perhaps we can speak again tomorrow. Gong. <laughs> so my hunch was correct. She does know me. I'll have to try to talk with her again tomorrow. Ah! Oh, what the? That blood-curdling scream came from the courtyard. February 7th, 11.06pm, Hazakura Temple, Courtyard. That scream, I'm sure it came from around here. Ah! Someone's there, on the ground. M Mr. Nim! I just stepped on something soft. Hey, don't step on my tummy like that. W what are you doing lying there in the snow? I was passed out, what do you think? So that blood curling screen was you? F forget about that, H hurry up and call the police. Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, but we still got reception up here in the mountains. You must have a cell phone on you, right? I, um, I didn't bring it with me. Oh, you're useless. I mean, even Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice. You have to use the public phone by Dusky Bridge. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Run as fast as you can. Y yes, ma'am. We don't hurry. Iris will. Iris will. February 7th, 11.18pm. Dusky Bridge. <sighs> it's faster than I thought. The bridge is just up ahead. I have to go tell Maya what happened, too. Ah! Dusky Bridge! It's burning down! What the heck happened? What are you doing here? Ah! Huh? What is it? Is it me? D don't scare me like that, Larry. I almost had a heart attack. My name isn't Larry, it's Larice. Larry, hurry up and call the police. I'm going to the inner temple. D don't be stupid. The bridge is nothing but a burning wreck right now. Listen to me. There's been a murder here at Hazakura Temple. What? The murderer might have fled across the bridge. I have to make sure Maya is safe. B but please call the police. I've got to go. Get out of my way, Larry. It's too dangerous. Nick, wait. I must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but I still went for it. Ah, Nick! Weakened even more by the fire, the rickety old bridge's planks snapped and gave way, and as I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded me, a final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. To be continued. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, uh, that's our introduction to Bridge to the Turnabout. Next time, more investigation. <laughs> what a case. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!